All right, we back at 95. We got Frank Clark. Let's go ahead and jump into it, my boys. Frank Clark, like a shark, just swimming around and Frank Clark, like a shark. I like that. Not the third time. Tonsil couldn't even get a hand on him. Oh my god. Hey, look at the shine, though. Look at the shine. Look at the shine. You know what I'm saying? Frank Coastal for that sack, though. But after a bitter end to 2018, Andy Reid knew that to win a Super Bowl, he'd have to upgrade the defense. In free agency, the Chiefs reeled in Frank the Shark Clark. Frank Clark in Kansas City, um, he had in two years. Is it that they years, felt Frank Clark was better than D Ford, or they just didn't want to pay D Ford? He probably asked for too much money. One, their new big fish showed an uncanny oh ability to be at the right place at the right time. Frank Clark's got it! The ball is knocked out of his hands by Frank Come on, Carlos. Carlos Hyde had a good season. His right hand right on the ball, right there to peel it away. Grab it in midair. You get paid $105 million as a defensive end in this league to create turnover. Watch Frank Clark. Watch the left shoulder. Watch him dip right there. Oh, my gosh. Ooh. The rookie tackle. And then the oh first turnover gosh. goes down as an interception. 91, Derek Nottie catches it. But that's all made up by Frank Clark. The bigger the game, the better Clark was. In the Chiefs' win at New England, Clark had a timely sack and fought through a double team to save a touchdown. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't gonna lie. In that game, hey, I'm a, I'm a they didn't count in the queue. Harry touchdown. Patriots, Patriots probably would have won. Come on, come on, let's ride. In the Chiefs' three playoff wins, Clark had five sacks. In each game, the opponent's last gasp was snuffed out by the shark. Throw that away, Deshaun. Takes it down, and the Chiefs will close it out. No, no, why they put me here? 128 to go in the game. Fourth and six for the Titans from their own 35. Frank Clark chasing, knocks it down. Stay out of the water because Frank Clark the Shark has just given Kansas City its first trip to the Super Bowl in 50 years. Fourth down and 10 for the 49ers. Garoppolo in the pocket. He's being hit. He had him a nice playoff series. Jason Kelsey. Like is obviously, uh, um, he's known for being talented, but uh, Kelsey, the center from uh, the Eagles, he's the fastest center I've ever played against. Fastest yeah. center I ever played against. Yeah, I, I seen that people say that the uh, the Eagles' offensive line is really Jason athletic. Jason Kelsey's season ended in the Super Bowl, watching his brother add a second Lombardi to the family collection. I've been answering questions about advice given him all week for the game, about the speech. This man don't need no advice. <laughs> he's up here hosting the body trouble because he's the best in the game. And he's gonna have it's the Travis speech. Kelsey, Jason uh, Kelsey, and, and it's another Kelsey, right? <laughs> but only one of the Kelsey brothers was named first team all pro in 2019. The center out of Cincinnati was the only Eagle to play every snap this past season. And that's a good thing, since the Eagles are three and that's fourteen crazy. in games he doesn't take. That Eagles of the line, snaps. bro. Look at that boy Miles. Hey, Miles Jason nice, Kelsey but yeah, he do benefit from that line. But hey, might not be the most big guy, but he plays like a big dude. He plays your stout, and his speed is remarkable. <laughs> that's funny. There's some plays where it'll be like a screen play or a hitch or something to the receiver on the, you know, past the numbers, and you'll see him running out there to block. You know when a center's that fast because I feel like centers sometimes um, they're in the middle of everything, so they don't really reach, you know, get to people or you know they easy to get bumped. So when a center's blocking you, and especially me, it's like 
kind of noticing. That's, yeah, hey, hey, that's big. Yo, center out there like that. His ability to get out in the second level and kind of position himself. Then they say, uh, Jason like Peters coming back and he's moving a guard, huh? That, in oh, that interior going to be, oh, nah, but, um, really kind of let those guys that was a nice run. Business. And uh, he's been doing it for a long time. Nice job. That's a great response, man. That's what a good war. Kelsey's as consistent as they come, leading all centers with 89 consecutive starts. I think the big thing you can describe in Jason is that he makes it look effortless sometimes. There's really difficult blocks, and it can be frustrating as another center to watch it. You know, a guy has a whole full head of steam. He just kind of gets his hands, anchors down, and that's where you know, the battle stops. That was a nice story. About the toughness that, that was nice. He brings to the game, and um, from what I hear, he's just the ultimate leader in that uh, Eagles locker room. Following the season, Kelsey was snubbed in the selection of the All-Decade team. His three first-team All-Pro nods are more than both Alex Mack and Marquise Pouncey combined. The former sixth-round pick will no doubt use the slight to drive him moving forward. Hungry dogs run fast. You got man. Take a shot to A-Rob. You got A-Rob, one-on-one. Hey, he broke out this year, bro. And all season long, he's been... <clears throat> I remember him and Ellen Hearns in Jacksonville, they was a nice duo, but they never just had the, the quarterback to get it to them. But. Allen Robinson, I got from our team, he got, a, he got that dog mentality. Yeah. He broke out this year for real. I told him uh, before the year, I told him I put him to go to the pro, but I expect him to go to the pro bowl this year. Eddie Jackson from Louisiana? He sound like it. Just two years removed from ACL surgery, Allen Robinson has been the Bears' most consistent player on offense. The pass is caught for the touchdown. Hey, Rob, just hurt. I know how it is. First year off from ACL, but they don't need it. First year be uh, steady. You can play, but it's like, uh, I got Nick from that year still. The second year you come out, you're strong. Since 2014, Chicago hasn't had a 1,000 yard receiver. Not anymore. In his best year since his breakout season in 2015, Robinson had a career high oh my. catches and over 1,000 yards. Sliding to the near side. Trubisky flings it to Robinson. Makes the catch. Takes the hit. Hits there the 25. We're all flinching on that one, but Alan Robinson. Okay, hey, Rob. Looking like a. Amongst the bunch of different Looking like a Brandon Marshall out there. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. 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 That was nice. Hey, hey, boy, hey. I'm going to keep coming to you now. I'm going to keep coming to you. For my skill set, I like my quickness. I like my athletic ability. You know, against against really um uh, most corners. That's one of those. I don't care what the coverage is. I'm going to give my receiver oh my a chance. Gosh. Allen Robinson. Great discipline of running your route and then focusing on the quarterback when you come to the conclusion of your route. Oh, that was okay. Hey, I don't know how I feel about I that. That's, um, that was, attention to I think that was a good throw because he kind of slowed down. Out of your break. And I think the biggest thing with guys know. who are able to it, it was nice. well is just knowing what they do well and being able to get into that position. Whether that's if they're quicker than fast. It's know, like he slowed down to turn it up just a little bit so he knew like when a quarterback threw it, he's gonna be ahead of him. He got he got a little bit of like a um, deceptive speed. Wow. Oh, I like that. It's like chess, you know, being able to see what I do well. You know, trying to try to manipulate some of those corners. Sorry about that noise in the background, y'all. Yeah. Good job, I told you we're coming to you. Familiar with uh, Top 100? I've been on it tw twice. <laughs> Finna be three. Y'all been not hot. Play with me, this thing is good. Finna be three. For sure, I'm three. Three years in a row. Big play slay. You know. Darius Slay, man. I love, love, love his game. Game day, baby, let's go! 
I respect guys that plays my style, and I think um, Slay, you know, he plays my style more than a lot of guys. See, I don't, I don't watch the Lions, bro, so I can't really appreciate yeah, just Slay like that. But like, just balls, like nobody off of like, you know, small highlights and what I've heard of him, I miss with him, bro. Corners in the NFL but, for the past seven years. First with the Lions, and now what would y'all say? Y'all say he more of a man to man corner? It looked like he man, or yeah, more of a uh, and how you can play off coverage. He's one of the best. More of a zone. He's been doing it at a high level since he's been here. Since 2013, Slade leads the <clears> NFL and <throat> passes defense with 104. The reigning yeah, bro. I never really got to really appreciate him. But I'm looking forward to seeing him in Philly. I'm gonna try to keep my eyes on him. You know, the number one guy each and every week, no matter where he line up. So he travels? Does he travel with, uh, with receivers? Or he just stays to one side? Darius Slay got a hand in there to knock it away from Terry McLaurin. Knocked away by Darius Slay. It is knocked away in complete good work by Darius Slay. Let's go, D. Let's get another stop. Let's go, D. Let's get another stop. Hey, ball. this is no shade. This is a real question, bro. Who would y'all take between Darius Darius Slay and Patrick Peterson. Like, I'm dead serious. I just want to see people, uh, people, uh, He's one of those guys thoughts. who's going to pretty much always be in the right position. I like that. Allen Robinson had him, but the makeup speed from Darius Slay was there for him to get back into that play. Big play, Slay, get this done right there. That was some makeup speed by Darius Slay. I think he's a little bit different from some corners when he doesn't have the great size. I would put him in the top tier when it just comes to pure athleticism. He's fast, he's quick, he can break, has good ball skills. Anytime you want to throw it, I'm wide open. Number 91, <laughs> Nick. Grady Jarrett. Man, that's honestly. I can't cuss because I can't tell you exactly what we call that right there. It's called check whoop. That's what we call it. That's just Grady being Grady. I knew the set. And then just turned it off tape and just knowing that if I can beat the guy to my spot, that I'll be able to make that play. So I just gave him a little, gave him a little sugar. Big Grady is wreaking Ooh. havoc on the mm. inside. He looked like he quitty. <laughs> I said quitty. He looked like he's pretty quick for his size. Grady right there. Just disruptive in every way. Oh, so this is just a great play by that man Grady. He hit him with the double swipe. He taking the running back down before he even, before he can make a step. Jonathan Cyprian, hey man, I thought he was gonna be big time. Big Grady storming in off the backside. Falcons defensive tackle Grady Jarrett has been one of the premier run stuffers in the NFL. That was nice, that was nice. He's hard to stop. You can try to hold him. Yeah, we saw it. But he still might make the play. That's funny. He's become an all-around player by becoming an elite pass rusher as well. You shall not pass. Brady Jarrett, who now has... Good sack, my boy. Jarrett, yeah, he's a wrecker. He can wreck your offense. Big Brady says you shall not pass. Just to be so disruptive. This quarterback just doesn't want to get sacked again. He just throws it up there and throws a lollipop. Having somebody like that, it's fun to play. Mm. So the sky's the limit for that man. Teammates love to talk about him. Opponents don't. We set the 97. Destroy him. I got you. Uh. Big Grady in there? I think so. Boy, they love Quentin Nelson. What did 97 do? Like the fans, just in general. Oh, that big boy, coach. This one? 
or this one. Look at that way. Quick with it. Quick, quick, quick. Going into the top 100. Going into this year, I just wanted to really leave, no doubt. Everybody just loved the Aaron Donalds and the Fletcher Coxes and those guys wish they deserved the due diligence, but Grady is right there. Like right there. Alright, so alright. Get better. I'm a, I'm a that's, get that's, that's, I'm a that's, that's it. That's it for me reacting to. <laughs> My fault. I'm not even tired, bro. I just got a 90 to 91. So, um, I can't really say I have too many surprises on there. I'm, I was happy to see Chris Carson on there for sure. I would think Frank Clark would be a little higher. But, I mean, yeah, no, yeah, what it is. Looking forward to see who else is all on here. But we're going to end it there. Appreciate y'all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned and stay blessed. You done messed up, A.A. Ron? Yeah. Hey, Hawk. Man amongst boys, I walk with the Lord. Gotta be careful what you say because your tongue is a sword. Why you speaking what I think and ain't no.